Hello and welcome to this episode of Women in Mobility. Our guest for today is Ms. Bensi K. Baby, Head User Experience India at Electrobit. Bensi, welcome to the show. Thank you. Yeah. Bensi, which was your first company and how was the experience there? Okay, um, I joined uh, um, Tata Alexi as my first company. Uh, this is I have joined uh, after the campus recruitment. Um, let me share a bit about the earlier journey, um, so that will uh, help you to Please. understand how it will landed in the data galaxy. Uh, during my school days, um, I learned I have a passion towards mathematics. So also I am limited proficiency in the biology. So I have chosen in the 11th and 12th standard as uh, um, computer science. When we are doing the lab uh, ex- programming and all, I understood I have a intense love towards the computer programming that helped me to uh, the further studies in the BTEC uh, in the computer science. Uh, do the campus recruitment. I have joined the Tata Alexi as a fresher. The Tata Alexi molded my career uh, like anything. Um, so I started um, as a developer there, and um, uh, what Tata Alexi helped me is uh, I'm an academic. Kid, okay, I'm, I'm a student. Um, when I joined the actual corporate uh, project, this was very complex. I thought I can handle or I can crack everything uh, easily. Uh, but um, it was a complex project. But how it helped me is uh, the management there, okay. they have put a confidence on me and trust. Also, they will also, uh, st- I mean, Hana, how to analyze all the kind of an issues how we can resolve it. So when I put into the, some complex project initially to help me to resolve the challenging task uh, very quickly. Uh, in the Tata Alexi, I have worked in different levels of work in infotainment because I have put into the automotive domain. Mm. So different levels, uh, starting with application layer, all, all the layers. Um, where I have ended up in the HMI uh, domain there. That's the user interface or human machine interface domain. And mm-hmm. um, also I got a chance to go to the, um, some international exposure to the UK. So, uh, I mean, it's overall 10 years I spent in Tata Alexi. Uh, it's it's a nice experience and uh, that molded my career uh, okay. in a good way. Okay. What made you to, you know, pursue more on you know, the user interface? Because which is, now becoming more nowadays. It's an interesting story. So, um, I, I as I stated earlier, I was worked in this application uh, domain or the user interface domain. Uh, when we see the mobile and all, the user interface is the more emotionally connected to us. Mm. Uh, when I, I, lo- I love traveling. So, when we do the traveling, most of the time, we interact with the head unit there. So for the navigation or hearing uh, audios or, um, I mean, calling someone, I mean, most of the time we will uh, interact with the head unit. Um, as well as if there is no co-passengers available, we can interact with the voice as well. Usually we will tell right? hey Siri, can you play a song? So that kind of an uh, interaction helped me to attach more towards the user interface. Mm-hmm. Another instance, what I can tell is when I was in uh, UK, uh, one of the, they have a user trials event will happen. The user trials event is like, um, they will call different age uh, group of people before going to the one uh, application to the protection, okay. it will uh, uh, create a quick prototyping. Okay. Maybe it is in the iPad or uh, anywhere, they will place in the head unit. They will mount two cameras there and uh, they will ask, uh, uh, or maybe can you change the cabin conditioning to 20 degree? So how fast they are able to get it? Get it okay. uh, the camera is for capturing, uh, I mean, their uh, facial expressions, okay. Okay. whether they are liking it or they are finding difficulty to find the icon. So it's mostly uh, the end user experience, uh, what we are trying. So uh, that's, that's really connected uh, for me. I mean, the way... The user interface creating is, I mean, I mean, we're really connecting to us. That's that's why I just ended up in the user interface, and almost now it's close to eleven years in the user oh. interface uh, domain. 
You must have been talking to a lot of customers, you know, yes. also because you need to get inputs. How was the experience? If you can share some anecdotes. Ah, yeah, definitely. Um, I do interact with customers. So, customers, as I told, uh, we have a uh, uh, we are selling the products or engineering solutions to them. The feedback which or input they have given to us is help us to improve our product or our engineering solutions. How it is helping is, uh, for example, when a, when we are having a product uh, the customer is using, they will give us some kind of a feedback. Maybe that will help us to, for the next version of our product, we can incorporate that. So with the current market, I mean, we get kind of a competitive. It's, it's a valuable inputs from the customer uh, we have received and it helped us uh, to improve our, uh, I mean, quality and quantity of work. Uh, that that help the customer satisfaction. Hmm. Okay, so when did you feel that you had leadership skills, and what part of your career this was recognized? Okay, that's an interesting uh, story. Um, I have a I have a, a core knowledge. I mean, what my aspiration was to move into the technical area. Okay, kind of a technical architect or that's it. I joined Electrobit as a senior technical specialist mm -hmm. and I worked as an individual contributor. Um, one of the Electrobit manager, um, she recognized or during my discussion, he told me like, you have a leadership skills. Um, first I thought, uh, is it really? <laughs> so he have pointed out few instances how he felt it. I mean, uh, working as a team and how I am resolving the conflict uh, the few areas he just pointed out and uh, he is the one identified this hidden potential of leadership skills. Um, that helped me to, now I, if I look back, it's helped me, I mean, I have that easily connecting to the people. That's, that's, uh, that's uh, helped me to reach the area. That's a skill, a special skill. Yes. So uh, someone has identified you have leadership skills. How did you, you know, energize that and built upon your strengths? Yes. Um, this is, um, uh, I have gone through some courses, uh, the seven leadership courses I have got through. Also, I have I, I read books, some powerful quotes from Michael Jordan, uh, the basketball legend. Mm -hmm. uh, the, what he's telling is, there is no I in the team, uh, but there is a V in the V. So the first concept I learned is, I mean, we cannot tell I, I mean, that's me, we have that, the teamwork, the, for achieving the leadership success, the first priority is for the teamwork. It has to be a teamwork. Also, the another, uh, one more statement, what he's telling is, talents wins games. Mm. Uh, talent wins games, but the um, teamwork and the intelligent uh, wins championship. So uh, what it means is some inter intelligent or in individual contribution will be there, they will be, but collaborative award of the teamwork and so the strategic thinking will be the main uh, help for winning mm. the championship. Mm. So um, so the, the two things what I am uh, I have focused or I learned is this is the teamwork. Along with that, we have some strategic thinking to help us in succeed in the leadership role. So these are the two things help me uh, in that. Also, I want to, I mean, uh, how to tell about my team. Yeah. I mean, from the team itself, I have learned a lot of things. Uh, we, I have a very vibrant, energetic team. Also, very diverse team. I mean, um, different age group or different um, means of female or different states people. I mean, I mean, that's kind of a cultural difference is also helping us to uh, benefit. I mean, as a leadership, we have to learn a lot of things from their team. Uh, you must be taking a lot of uh, no decisions, etc. But has any decision taken by you influenced somebody to you know, grow further in your team? Yes, yes, definitely. Um, so, uh, being a manager, taking the right decisions at the right time is, I mean, it's important, very important. For an individuals, we will uh, take some kind of an, uh, positive decisions that help their career growing. And um, when they are having kind of a success in their career or their contributions, so they are psychologically safe in the environment to um, innovate uh, the things. 
so it will make us i mean i feel pressure on um, on my decisions as so i want to tell you i mean this is the other individual i have taken decisions also uh, myself also the decisions which i am uh, taking okay for example um, when there is a discussion among came across the kochi site so when the kochi site comes this is also from my native place and uh, taken the ownership of that uh, site coordinator so all these decisions taking for individuals as well as myself uh, impacting the organization in a good way so how uh, well your leadership skills have been you know honed like for example when you take a decision you how will you will you be very rigid or flexible or uh, follow a hybrid model um that depends that depends uh, uh, when uh, some decisions uh, we are taking it's it's a very prioritized uh, decision should be rigid but somewhere if it's i mean this, we can tell it's a hybrid i mean some cases uh, we cannot uh, make that much rigid so for example in of uh, colleagues cases they have a different situations we have to understand that uh, situations and then it will be flexible for that decision but something very important and prioritized which is impacting the organization or the culture so it should be rigid so okay. say hybrid uh, mm-hmm. good good what do you think of women empowerment people talk about it much nowadays yes the women empowerment um my perspective it is the women has to be i mean there are a lot of things organizations are doing for the women empowerment and so in the october we are doing women during so the for the women itself uh, we have a, a mentoring course so we just call it as women during um also coaching uh, we can do but what i want to tell you is women itself has to uh, identify their potential they have a lot of potential uh, when we have a technology leader then people leader people will value and respect us so that will itself empower us okay um organization are helping us but the change has to happen in women itself from within okay okay great and uh, about uh, diversity equity and inclusion uh diversity yes that definitely uh, uh, it's required i mean uh, then only i mean uh, different kind of people i mean not only in the gender diversity i mean and is in the age group uh, i mean uh, all uh, all these kind of things are helping yeah. us to get lot of ideas mm. lot of innovative ideas um inclusion definitely it's required i mean they have to be empowered in their uh, or for the key decisions uh, they have to be involved so uh, i have a female i mean 38% of my team members are female so okay. i will mean, just I mean, few people are uh, mostly the women have a uh, a tendency to uh, sit back or or i mean they won't come forward okay so um, during my dialogues and all i will usually uh, tell them to move forward and take some responsibilities mm-hmm. uh, when i mean as i stated earlier when we are good in technology i mean i mean the core how one can i mean uh, put down or st- i mean break it down yeah i understand yeah now that you are you know responsible for a particular uh, location and then you are also coming to the headquarters here and you also meet uh, customers and there will be a lot of travel so how do you, you know uh, balance your professional life with personal life yes uh that's a good question and um, definitely there is will be a, i mean conflict uh, mm. uh, will be there in the mm. personal and uh, uh, professional life mm. um but i have to uh, tell you i mean in some other perspective when there is a conflict only we have to resolve it yeah when uh, um, when if everything is smooth right i mean we won't learn anything from there there is an impediments we have to remove that impediments so i have uh, fortunate to have a good support system at my home uh, my spouse kids and in laws also i have a very supporting especially how to mention about my maid i mean she is the one even though i mean their role is minimal right they are the one helping us to do my career uh, growth so uh, how it is uh, what i told man that's conflicting right i mean this is kind of a delegating uh, task mm. uh, also motivating them for example mm. if i tell about my maid right so we have to motivate or appreciate 
to uh, there to take care of my kids or feeding kids mm. the same thing is applicable for the professional things as well so the women have that kind of uh, what i can tell is it's not a weakness it's 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 an, uh, a positive aspect okay we can do multiple things um, i won't tell like a super woman but <laughs> yeah. at least uh, these kind of things are helping us to okay. learn our applic applic uh, apply this to the professional life as well okay okay so the millennials and gen zs are now coming to the uh, profession now so and their aspiration levels are completely different from what you had earlier so what kind of a you know suggestion or a piece of advice for them to be more uh, professional more proficient in their career <laughs> very insightful questions so that's uh, uh, this uh, millennials when they are coming right i mean uh the the way when we have joined the corporate the things are changed a lot dot it's not uh sometimes i could understand that they don't understand the i mean at that time i mean it's different that they're there when we have started or i have started my priority is work then it later came into the money but i mean they don't have any intimacy to the work um this corporate world uh, now what is the millennials i could see is um making them i mean they have a lot of innovative ideas that we have to um, respect that so uh, uh, make that innovative ideas and um, they have a lot of ambitions in their mind so we cannot fulfill all the ambitions at least that ambitions we can uh, change in a way that to understand the things because uh, we I have a few people in there so they will ask about i, I want to this technology itself mm. Uh, in earlier case uh, whatever comes we will work up would okay. but in the nowadays they are choosing uh, yeah they are choosing <laughs> okay. famous way kids i mean they are picky with the food <laughs> mm. so the same way and then they are choosing yeah so managing them is okay uh, <laughs> difficult the main is um, uh, i mean it's okay because uh, some some uh, advice we have to give them also we have a campus to corporate um, training okay. how uh, we have to be the from campus when the people comes from campus right how to adjust with the corporate etiquettes and all um okay it's it's going good it's going good bensi it was wonderful talking to you thank you so much for being part of women and mobility thank you so much thanks so hanisha